Uh, hi and welcome back to David Tom Creation's channel. As you might have uh, read or heard this week, there has been a big news from Native Instruments as they are dropping Complete 14 on uh, September the 27th. And as you know, I am a big Native Instruments user and we view uh, a lot of their software, hardware. I said I've got a S49 Mark II, Machine, M32, and uh, I have Complete 13 Ultimate. So today I, I'm going to have a look and see what I'll be getting uh, if I upgrade to the new version of Ultimate and what the comparison is with that and the Collector's Edition. Um, so the, the first thing that they've done is they've actually renamed them, which makes more sense now. So Complete Select is the, the basic version of Complete 14 and uh, it comes with various bits of hardware um, that uh, you normally, if you buy an S series or an A series keyboard or a machine, you will get Complete 14 Select and then you can upgrade from there. So, because uh, I got Complete 14 with uh, um, my hardware and then I complete I upgraded last year to Complete 13 uh, and then I upgraded this year to Complete 13 Ultimate. So uh, that is normally the kind of <laughs> the path. I mean, you can obviously just go straight to collector's edition. Um, so anyway, so before Complete 13 was just called Complete 13. Uh, they now called it Standard, which I had been calling it anyway, because you had to call it something to kind of differentiate it. Complete 14 Standard and Ultimate is the same. So Complete 14 Ultimate, and then they've dropped the Ultimate from the collector's edition. So it's now just Complete 14 Collector's Edition. So this makes a lot more sense and why it's taking them so long to do it, I don't know. So uh, one, uh, 180, 540, uh, 1080 and 1620. But one of the big things in uh, Complete 14 is the new version of Contact, it's Contact 7. Um, and as you can see, um, it's gone a bit play series. So it's completely different. Um, and uh, and looks like hopefully it will be resizable. Uh, so we we shall see. There's no kind of previews of this. Is that's it? There's a screenshot of 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 it, and that's all we're getting at the moment. As you probably know, uh, uh, Native Instruments kind of partnered up with Soundwide, which includes Isotope and Plugin Alliance. Uh, quite a few Isotope um, plugins, uh, especially Ozone. So you're now getting Ozone Ten. Uh, standard with any of the the complete 14 packages um so that's pretty good because i do use ozone quite a lot so uh some of the the ones that uh, you're getting now um now these are not necessarily ones you i think some of these are purely on the collector's edition like for instance choir omnia and loras are only on the collector's edition but uh a lot of the other ones you're going to get things like uh, piano colors Sequest, Ashlight, Action Strings, and some of the new Session Guitarist stuff. Um, also, Playbox, which I have been wanting to try out for a while. Most of the new Play Series and another 30 new expansions. Now, that is a mix of uh, Machine Expansions and Massive X Expansions. So, what I'm going to have a look at today is basically what I'll be getting, uh, or anybody else that's on Complete 13 Ultimate, uh, what the difference is between these two two and is it actually worth it so what we'll have a look at is the bundles and we'll just see a bit about what you're kind of getting um so if i compare this to last year's um uh, complete 13 upgrade i got uh, 118 instruments and effects uh, 39 expansions 67,000 sounds so you can see that uh it's gone from 118 uh to uh, 140 instruments and effects, uh, 65 expansions. The ex expansions have gone up massively. 85, 4,000 sounds and over one terabyte of sample library. And it will cost me, uh, so I can update uh, instead of upgrading. So I can update for 360 pounds. So which, you know, it sounds a lot. Once you actually, you know, if you look at the individual prices, it's, it's peanuts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at some of the best stuff that uh, I'm going to get if I upgrade to 14 Ultimate. Uh, and like I said, it's 360 quid. Obviously, if I wait till next summer, it will be cheaper and get it in the sale. Some of the highlights for me would be um, 
obviously Ashlight uh, I would quite like because I've got the other two. Um, Sequest I've always wanted to have a go at because it's it looks brilliant as well. And if you haven't seen Sequest, um, it uh, is some sound samples. If you haven't seen Sequest, check it out because it is pretty amazing mod wheel to adjust the kind of four uh, kind of rings as it were of, of instruments and oh, it's 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 completely different um i'm not really bothered about any more guitar stuff piano colors uh, possibly but i mean there's already the loads of beautiful pianos and obviously ozone standard would be quite good so one of the main things is because i'm a machine user is to get 20 new expansions so that on its own is 880 pounds if i bought those separately and also i'm getting all the play series that i don't have i mean i've just bought initial keys but i got that for 20 quid so it's no big deal um yeah there's eight new play series that i don't have um as well so they're 44 pound each um so that would be 350 quid uh, right so the other thing which is quite important which nobody else has mentioned is the fact that they've updated native access because before you couldn't filter all the plugins if you've ever seen native access it was just listed alphabetically uh, a to z and and that was it so so now eventually um, that you can actually um, obviously have it by all applications instruments effects contact reactor and expansions so that is going to make life a lot easier when you buy something like the collector's edition and you've got like 200 instruments or whatever it is you know search and filter by category so i mean it, it's it's about time um and it looks like although it's not sure but because the other problem is you can't just uninstall um from native access so it these it, it kind of says installed here so i'm hoping those little three dots has something that pops up to say that you can uninstall it because sometimes, you know, if you've installed something like 15 gigabyte and you're not going to use it, you've tried it, you're not going to use it, It's it would be quite good to just install it without having to, you know, go in and, and delete it all manually. The videos I've been watching, nobody's actually mentioned that, and I think that's quite important because, um, you you know, you do use Native Access a lot for obviously anything that you buy from Native Instruments. The one thing that they haven't done, which everybody's moaning about, is update complete control. So they've updated native access and contact, um, but they haven't updated complete control. Now I use complete control a hell of a lot more than I use contact. Um, and it has particularly annoying because as you know, you can't resize the window. Hopefully at some point this year or, or whenever, there's going to be an update for it as well. I mean, really, I, I don't know why they haven't done it, but anyway, because like I said, I use that all the time in logic or the standalone I, I don't really know it doesn't make any sense why why they've updated everything else um but not that because like i said a lot of people just use complete control and not contact so yeah so that is uh some of the things that um i would be getting if i update to the ultimate version there's very little new in the synthesizer section um and it's going to be interesting to see what contacts have in um, is actually like because it like I said it is completely different one of the things that you you won't be getting again ever is um, absinthe which is uh, a soft synth um, and it has been dropped and completely discontinued um, from native instruments Look, and obviously like I said uh, this all is coming out on September the 27th there'll be a lot of videos on contact etc I'm sure because that is completely new so anyway, that is it for um, for this video, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you in uh, the next one. Bye for now.